Well, what's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Gonna do a quick mail day. Haven't done one of these in a long time. Figured uh, we do to do something like this for a change. Nothing crazy. Um, I had James from the channel mail me off a small uh, package. Uh, I usually send him out some Cardinal stuff as I pull it out of any kind of wax or see it from shows and stuff. And he sent me out some cool pirate stuff. So, let me pull the camera down here. So this Clement that he told me in a note is a short print. I'm going to have to look up figure it out because I haven't really followed Gypsy Queen this year. I don't know if it deals with the way the name is here in the bottom. Or I know it's not a logo swap, but I'll educate myself. But I, Pretty cool because he knows I like Clemente. they have been uh, picking up a lot of Clemente stuff upgrading. There's something different. The gold um, leaf. I think it was called black and gold back today. Don Slot. Not too many people. I mean, <laughs> they're falling pirates back then. I gotta remember Don Slot. You also got a Polanco. Uh, this is out of three ninety nine refractor from Bowman Chrome. This is a lava. And this was really cool here. Key Brian Hayes, uh, Pittsburgh Pride. It has the uh, what are they the what are they call here city flag patch card. So really cool. I like that. I like it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, the other thing, I did a little whatnot shopping the other day. I think I'm going to start trying to record some of the whatnot stuff, and maybe we'll go live as I'm doing stuff with whatnot, just for something different for videos. So this here all came from the 10th inning. Um, they're out of Hampton, Virginia. If you guys are out that way, check out their store. I'll leave this up here for a second. You guys can go ahead and hit... Uh, Pause if you want to write down the address. But they had a lot of nice stuff and really reasonable. So, starting off, pick the 53 tops up from out there. Uh, just look at the color on this, man. This thing's amazing. I mean, it's not going to, you know, be a PSA 10. They'll probably get maybe a miscut even onto it. But, I mean, bam, it's just really nice. Really good shape. I mean, they found. I think they said they found this in the collection. So, pick that up. I think... I don't want to say I got it for more than two or three bucks, to be honest. It reminded me of buying vintage from back in the day. 63 Fleer Drysdale. Pretty good shape overall, too. I mean, when you're looking at this. Really happy. It'll go off PSA one day. And I they ended up having like two or three PSA 9s of 68 tops. I was like, how rare can these things be from 69, right? Or 68 tops. So I started looking them up. I mean, nines are like a $30, $40 card. So I picked this up. I want to say a neighborhood from them. So, I mean, pretty cool. I wish I could have grabbed the other ones. I mean, they're not of any, like, superstars or semi-star stuff like that. But just the base commons. I mean, somebody out there trying to build a set might want this one day. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. So, real quick mail day I figured I'd knock out today. I gotta start running numbers this week for all the 10,000 club. I gotta get ready for a long haul to a show in Newburgh, Indiana. So, if you're out in Newburgh area, stop by, say hello on Saturday. Uh, I think their show is, let me remember this here, 8 a.m. their time, which is central time, till like 2 or 3 uh, in the afternoon. So, I'll be set up there. Uh, pretty much it, guys. The next video tomorrow, I got PSA in today. It's only a three-card thing. I'll do that in a video for tomorrow. Other than that, guys, take care of a good one. See you guys next video.